Hey there, Gavin Gay here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I wanna take a process that can be a little bit overwhelming, has a lot of moving pieces, can seem overly complex, and we're gonna break it down step by step. That's right, we're gonna take a single 6.5 Creedmoor case. This is Starline Brass I've got with a small primer. And we're gonna follow this case through its journey to become a completed cartridge. Now I wanted to do this with one cartridge because basically precision reloading, like any other kind of reloading, is a rinse and repeat kind of thing. Now in the next video, we're gonna use the same setup and the same equipment to do what's called a 10 shot load development sequence, something that I saw on the 6.5 guys channel. And it's gonna basically be doing this same process I'm gonna show over and over. So let's get started. So I just started playing with the Forster case lube. This is really good stuff. It, it sizes the brass super, super smooth. I poured a little bit into the cap here. Just gonna dab a little bit on the Q-tip, wipe it on the case. We'll wipe that thin film around the outside of the case body, and then I'm just gonna go inside the case neck to get that lubed as well. All right, let's size this. So we're gonna take our cedar. We're gonna put in our Forster full-length sizer. Take the case, this is gonna size it and deprime it. Very, very smooth. And if you look at the case, look, look at that. It's almost like a mirror finish. That speaks to the interior surface finish quality on this full length sizer. Now, I'm gonna take a primer while we're here and we'll just pop that into the priming cup up here. Lift the ram slightly, set it back down. Doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. Now we're primed. After we size the case, we can check it with a case gauge. I'm using an Ellie Wilson case gauge here. Drop it on the top. Check to make sure the case rim is between the top step and the bottom step. And then we can also look at the bottom side. It looks like we're okay on trim length, but I do want to show the trimming process. Let's do a quick trim with the Ellie Wilson case trimmer. Case goes into the case holder. Little wrap to get that held captive in the taper. Now we're gonna Clamp down on the case holder. Turn until we stop seeing shavings. Oh, that got really smooth. Okay. Give it a little bit of a wrap on the case mouth. Okay, now look at look at the quality. It's, it's just like a mirror. But we do need to deburr. This is the Ellie Wilson deburring tool. Just gonna give it a quick spin on the inside. Doesn't take much. We're just taking that burr off. Okay, now we have a nice prepped case. Okay, so we're gonna type in our charge weight. We got 40 grains of 4350, go. It's gonna go at high speed until it gets close to 40 and then it's gonna micro trickle. Here we're at 39.3. It's gonna take a few moments. This takes a lot of the frustration out of precision case charging. This, the scale in the Charge Master Lite is accurate to 0.1 grain. Very good repeatability. There we are, we're at 40. We're gonna take our funnel. I'm gonna go ahead, just add our powder charge, good to go. Now we're actually ready to seat the bullet. Back over to the Forster coax, we're gonna switch our sizer for our micrometer seater. We're gonna take our charged case, put it in the shell holder. Now we've got a Hornady 140 grain ELDM bullet. Just gonna insert that. Go ahead and bring the ram to the very top. There we go, a completed cartridge. So there we go. We've got our completed 6.5 Creedmoor cartridge. It's really not all that complicated or complex. There's just several things that you need to pay very close attention to. Sizing setup with the case gauge, making sure things are trimmed, making sure that you've got a very consistent powder charge and so on and so forth. As I mentioned, we're gonna use this setup for a 10 shot load development sequence, so I hope you'll catch the next video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you don't wanna miss any of the action on ultimatereloader.com, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.